Aloha. I'm Reverend Cindy Palos, and I thought I would talk about a fascinating subject today. And that's about being able to have revealed what needs to be revealed so you can heal what needs to be healed. And one of the keys to making that possible is by being able to turn yourself over to God's will, the higher will, and then have the grace that can accomplish that. Now, I've been practicing this now for about four months, as I say it every morning in meditation. And it seems so simple. I have to admit I was truly shocked at how powerful it really is when you ask to have revealed what needs to be revealed. And it takes some courage because we don't always really want to know the truth. We are often lost in a lot of disbeliefs and illusions and maya. And we don't know a lot of things that may be going on. But the country of America and also our individual self and the world right now has had to have revealed many things that are difficult to handle and be revealed. Now, there's astrological influences that are amplifying this, um, which are creating the same effects of having things revealed. And the bottom line is it's good. The, The bottom line is it's really necessary and good to clear away things that need to be understood and let go of. But it's not always easy. So here's where self-exploration and meditation come in. Because it's this amazing journey and adventure into yourself when you start to meditate and actually go beyond the status quo of your state of mind and to really explore what's going on. And the, the events of our time are, are kind of making everyone do more self-exploration at this time. And it's needed because there's a lot of really challenging things going on that we need to have revealed so we can heal what needs to be healed. And what happens then? then you find that grace when you turn it over to God's will. You let go of your own ego control and you find that there's room in your interior consciousness to take that next step, the higher step that you need to move along and to um, really have the clearing that you need to move into a higher consciousness. And um, you're more able and more equipped and, and more free when you have already gone through those stages of understanding how to deal with what needs to be revealed. So this is something I would encourage. I'd really encourage you to have the courage to be able to say to yourself, reveal what needs to be revealed. Heal what needs to be healed. Then have that power of grace open up where you turn it over at that point to your higher self and to God and let God be in control of the situation. Because when we get through what we're going through, there's just not enough that we could do on our own truly. And to get past The ego's influence and ties on these things can be very, very tricky. The ego is a trickster. Oh my gosh, the tricks the ego will play. And and it it goes pretty deep. So we need a little bit more of our God consciousness to be coming into play here to really effectively deal with what needs to be revealed. Let's do a meditation on just those few phrases. First, let's get comfortable and just be aware. Take a few deep, calming breaths. 
And if there's been any tension, anything going on in your mind that you need to let go of, breathe in, hold for a couple of counts, and breathe out. Breathing in light, breathing out, and letting that light fill your body and your mind. Breathing in again, that light and allowing your whole entire consciousness to be bathed in that beautiful, clear light. And as you breathe out, let's allow yourself to sense your body. Is there any tension anywhere in your head, your neck, your shoulders? Just let it go. Allow that healing energy and light to come in. So we move on down into our heart. Is there anything that you're feeling stress there, angst, anything that's fear-based in your heart? Breathe in gratitude to your beautiful being, your heart of love, and allow it to fill you now and be healed of anything that's been struggling. Just let it go. Turn it over to God. Breathe in deep and allow that energy just to go through all of your organs. You know, we've been going through so much stress that our organs get stressed too. And allow light to fill all of your energy and your stomach and your kidneys and your liver, pancreas, your spleen. Let's just see light rotating and swirling through there, healing and healing and healing. And breathe in and allow that energy to move on down to your pelvic area. And if there's any emotions there, reveal what's going on there in your emotions. Allow yourself to be clear and objective as you feel anything that you might be going through and embrace it with love. And continue to go on down and see if there's anything in the root chakra, any fear-based things there any issues there that you need to send light to, send light to that now. And allow yourself to continue to be bathed in a beautiful, wonderful light that goes down your thighs and your knees, your calf, and to your feet. Ah, and just be bathed in this light and now extend it out six feet in all directions above you, below you, around you, a protective, wonderful egg shell cocoon of wonderful light breathe it in let it be see it see it see it a lovely radiant protective light now surrounds you and now go deeper 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 into your heart and from your heart let's go on to move to your soul level let's Go into that beautiful golden energy field of your timeless eternal soul. And get comfortable here in your soul's light. And be still and know that energy that is God. Just be still. Have God consciousness. Allow your whole self to be completely aware of that one light of love present here in the God consciousness in you. Breathe it in and breathe in gratitude for this very wonderful moment where you're in this protective energy and in the field of your soul's love light. And now we're going to have a conversation with our soul. We're going to ask our soul to reveal to us what needs to be revealed. So fearlessly face your inner self and your higher self and say, reveal what needs to be revealed. And be open, fearlessly open to receive what needs to be received to allow yourself the energy and the love to understand what needs to be revealed. Trust that process. Breathe in that process that's looking out for your highest good. 
And now tell yourself to heal what needs to be healed. And allow that energy of healing to come to any part of you that's dealing with something that's been revealed that may be difficult. Allow that healing energy to completely renew and restore and revitalize you. And now, allow the grace of God and that presence of the Holy Spirit to appear. <laughs> I hear my dove outside calling. That's <laughs> always the bearer of the Holy Spirit. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for being present right now and giving us the ability to find the truth within, the truth that makes us stronger, the truth that gives us the power to thrive, to grow as we find what we need to heal anything that needs to be healed. Now ask yourself again if there's any message that your soul wants to give you to reveal what needs to be revealed. To heal anything that needs to be healed. And just stay in this space and be open to the beautiful peace here. That higher consciousness of light and love is present. Ah, and now slowly come back out and be very grateful. Give a bow of gratitude to your soul and to God and to the presence to allow you to go deep into that place where you can find what is the truth inside. Know that you can heal what needs to be healed. And we're going to give great gratitude to each one of us that's been listening here, to ourselves, to join together in the power of allowing this energy to work and now also allow that beautiful robe of gratitude and grace to completely energize you and feel refreshed and re-energized and new. And take a few more deep breaths and come out and say, thank you, God. And so it is. I thank each of you for listening. May God bless you this very moment now and always.